Like, okay. How was it? I have no clue what that game is. Or is that a acronym for one of them? Yep, I have no clue. But, hi, this is Snake Cater Fox. I, I usually do a variety of stream for games, but every, um, it's a gotcha game. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've been trying to get, um, because as a Fox VTuber, I am required to, you know, get a Fox um, with Genshin trying to get, yeah, a Miko. Um, which I will be playing Genshin tomorrow to do the Hilly Curl quest and then probably go back to Persona 5. But anyways, every first and third Thursday of the month, I have my geek of going through scientific stuff that I am interested in, like articles that have been announced and all this other stuff. So that's what's going on right now, if y'all are wondering. Um, so, but yeah, it's it's the science stream for the first one of the month. I, I enjoyed when I, um, I did a science stream, uh, not last, uh, when the Odysseus landing happened, because I used to work at the Space and Rocket Center, so I talked to scientists that actually, um, worked on the original space program in you know, NASA. So I had a bunch of stories to tell along with doing the Odysseus lander stuff. So I had fun with that. So I decided that I might as well do some science things every, since I'm a nerd. Ah. So that's a gotcha game. Is it on the phone? I'm guessing. Everywhere. Okay. No, wait, I don't need another gotcha game. I already have Honkai Star Rail and... They already have Honkai Star Rail and, got and Genshin. I, I, I don't need another... I had it to PC a bit ago. Okay. Need another gotcha game, don't need another gotcha game, don't need another gotcha game. <laughs> Yikes. You like it over Genshin? I shouldn't ask that question. I should not ask that question. Yes, I do have that one. I do have her. I definitely have her. Um... I definitely have, um, uh, the totally not dead one, and then the mommy foxy. Um, and of course I got Sparkle because she has a fo fox mask. <laughs> I use her all the time. She is an amazing healer. She is, like, a mainstay, and she's a sweetheart. And now I've been trying to get the general though, because I need to get an elect. Because when I started up, I don't have a very good electric character, because all I have is serval uh, when it comes to AoE, and I really want to get the general. Genuine. But I have the look luck of Job when it comes to pulling in that fucking game. That's my luck when it comes down to it. Anyways, we have a few more articles to go. Um, one of the main ones, of course, was, is ADHD, but also um, monotropism. 
which is one of the new theories about autism. Um, but let's first go about with the ADHD. ADHD traits may have been evolved to provide foraging advantages, study says. Which is good, because I also have ADHD. People with ADHD-like traits may have an evolutionary advantage when it comes to finding food in the wild. In a new experiment, researchers found that individuals with distinguishing qualities of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, like difficulty regulating where they focus their attention, and restlessness have better foraging strategies than those with more neurotypical traits. The findings have researchers speculating that ADHD evolved as an adaptive survival strategy, one that hinders source resource explo exploitation in the same spot instead favors exploration of new spots. This could possibly explain why ADHD is so prevalent in human population today, impacting hundreds of millions worldwide. If these traits were truly negative, then you would think that over evolutionary time they would be selected against. Neuroscientist David Barak of the University of Pennsylvania told Nicola Davis at The Guardian. Our findings are an initial data point suggesting suggestive of advantages in certain choice of con uh, contexts. Barak and his team experimented included 457 participants who were tasked with picking as many berries as they could from virtual bushes on a computer screen within a limited period of time. Each time a partic uh, participant clicked on a patch of berries, they depleted the virtual bush. Individuals had to then make the choice, stay at the same patch and collect fewer berries, or spend precious time traveling to a new patch. In some cases, travel to a new berry patch on screen took just one second. Other cases, it took five. Those who screen negative for ADHD tended to stay too long at a berry bush to achieve optimal foraging whereas those with ADHD-like traits were more likely to leave a patch sooner and less likely to exploit any one berry bush. They also collected more berries by the end of the experiment. The findings are supported by previous studies, which suggest that nomadic lifestyles are tied to genetic mutations implicated in ADHD. Outside of foraging societies, however, the traits of ADHD might not always prove so beneficial. Modern decisions are often made in contexts of Resources are bountiful, constantly available, and undepletable. Constant reward-seeking behavior, drive, driven by dysfunction of dopamine pathways in the brain reward centers, may cause those with ADHD to forever flit between tasks without completing any. The idea that ADHD-like traits are adaptive in some particular environments remains highly speculative, and the need to explore it th more thoroughly by future research. Test scores for ADHD used in the current research, for example, don't necessarily indicate a proper diagnosis. Even still, this is not the first time that scientists have tried to explain why traits of ADHD are so widespread in the human population, nor is the first time that foraging advantages have been used to explain the global prevalence of this disorder. Previous studies have found that search patterns tend to be longer and more circuit circuitous for those with ADHD. This might contribute to higher levels of creativity, and some research on rats suggests that simulating parts of the mammal brain associated with greater activity in those with ADHD provoke rodents to leave foraging patches sooner. These findings together suggest that a certain uh, neutral neural, excuse me, neural circuit somehow tuned the brains for explorer versus exploitation decisions. When it comes to navigating modern life, ADHD can pose a serious problem. The new findings, however, suggest that such negatives may largely be circumstantial. The different ways that humans think and approach the world can be very reason for our success, great success as a species. All right, woo! As someone with ADHD, that's a good thing to hear about. But um, 